Growing up in Seattle, salmon was a staple in my home. Now, if you're new to buying salmon, it might be overwhelming. There's farm raised, there's wild, Pacific, Atlantic. What does it all mean? I'm Danielle Alex, and I'm here to teach you everything you need to know about salmon. So here's one way you can buy salmon. You can buy it whole. Now, when you go to the fishmonger, the first thing you're gonna look for is to make sure that the eyes are nice and plump and they're not frosted over. They're nice and clear. Then you're gonna move to the gills. And when you look inside the gills, you wanna make sure it's pink and bright. And then of course, you wanna make sure that it's not slimy. Here's the side of the fish that I just cut from the whole salmon. You'll notice that it's pretty much the entire length of the salmon minus the head. If you'd like to grill, it's better to grill a whole side of salmon with the skin on. If you're feeding multiple people, sometimes buying an entire side is actually cheaper than purchasing individual portions. When buying portions of fish, you can find them in steaks or in fillets. The difference between a steak and a fillet is the steak is cut down perpendicular of the fish. So you cut it down perpendicular and it leaves the skin and all the bones intact. A filet is simply cut along the entire side of the salmon. You can also purchase frozen fish. Now don't be afraid of frozen fish at all because quite often when it's purchased frozen, it's been flash frozen at sea for freshness. You can buy individual portions and then simply thawed overnight in the refrigerator. You can buy wild fish or farmed fish. Wild fish tends to be more vibrant in color. 90% of wild salmon comes from Alaska. It has a more meaty and robust flavor. It's also available usually just during the summer months. Farm fish tends to have a lot more marbling or fat and can be available year round. If you're new to cooking salmon, you might wanna start with farmed fish because it's harder to overcook. When I get home from the store, this is how I store my fish. I'll take my fish out of its packaging, place it on a clean kitchen towel or paper towel, and then I'll wrap the whole thing in plastic wrap. The reason I like to do it this way is because the towel or the paper towel will absorb any excess moisture of the salmon. And then when I store it, I place it in the coldest part of the fridge. Today, I'm gonna cook up two pieces of salmon, but first, I'm always gonna check for pin bones. I'm gonna grab my culinary tweezers, and I'm gonna run my finger along one of the sides here, and oh, there are there. Okay, these look great now. Just a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna put them right in the skillet. So I'm always gonna start with my salmon skin side down. Notice that there's plenty of space in the pan. I do not wanna overcrowd the pan because then this fish will start to steam. I wanna make sure that the skin gets nice and crispy and that also helps hold it together. I'm cooking the farm salmon and you'll notice these pieces are a little thicker. So I'm gonna probably need about 10 to 12 minutes for this to cook through. However, if you're cooking something like a sockeye or coho salmon, you're gonna notice that those pieces are very thin. Those will cook rather quickly. Those are also easier to overcook. Look at that, doesn't that look wonderful? I made sure that I did not put my skin side down. Keeping it to the side or face up ensures that the skin remains crispy. Now, of course, you can cook it to your desired doneness. Using a thermometer is ideal because then it can show you if you like it medium rare or fully cooked. Now I have another piece of salmon I'd like to show you. This piece of salmon, I intentionally overcooked. You'll notice that there's some of this white substance, that's called albumin. More often than not, when you overcook salmon, you can see a lot of that white substance, that albumin, all over the salmon. There's nothing wrong at all with eating that albumin. It tastes completely fine, it's good for you. It's just another protein that comes out of the side of the salmon. There we go, so now I'm gonna try it. So good. There's nothing like getting the skin nice and crispy like that. I hope you learned something new today, and the next time you go to make salmon, you feel more confident.